folks, JP here. I'm down in Araby, Louisiana to remove some bees out of a utility room wall right behind me. I'll show you their entrance. Looks like they've been here a while. I checked it out maybe a good week ago and um, they had some people living here at the time. They're not in here anymore. There was a washer and dry. All has been moved out and we were considering going it from the outside and removing the vinyl but I'd much rather actually going through the sheetrock. So we're about to get into it. Hope y'all enjoy the video. Here's our entrance up here. Show y'all. There they are. We got a honey right here. Do it. All the way down at the bottom. They, it's a big hog. All right, well, we made some cuts in our sheetrock. We're going to start pulling out these panels. Hopefully, they just come right out. I'm hoping to pull these panels out individually. Got a pop there ready, too. <laughs> Got a big one, huh? Well, I'm looking at the color of the cones. It's almost black. That's usually a sign that they've been here a good while. So the hive is exposed. It probably goes down a little bit further down here, but uh, this is what we got. <laughs> Tell you what, these are anything but little darlings. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you that. I'm just glad to be on the inside of the room today. Because it's windy out there and uh, the bees are pissed out back. I've probably taken about a good dozen stings by now. I want to show you what I've been doing. See the little pieces I've been taking out with little bits of comb attached. And, but uh, you walk out here and you're probably gonna get popped. See how windy it is. You know, I mean, it's, it's blowing. That has to have a bearing on them. Well, folks, <laughs> I suited up. I had enough stings, so we're gonna go ahead and start vacuuming some bees and uh, getting our numbers down. All right. So we're making some progress here. Okay, uh, there's honeycomb at the bottom. Got that out of there. Coming up, it's a little drone. I removed uh, one layer of brood comb. Uh, well, actually, I got a, a, a section of it. I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, oh boy, still vacuuming bees, and I still have the suit on. Uh, every now and then, it'll give me a pop uh, to the hand. Oh, the guard bees are just relentless. Oh man, well, they got that burning sting too. Damn, just got another one on the hand. Whew. Show you what it's looking like out here. This is what I've secured so far. All right, that's two sections side by side, and it filled the frame nicely. All right, just got the queen. There she is. And I'm always telling people when they ask me, "Did you did you get the queen yet? Did you see the queen yet? Did you find the queen?" <laughs> I always tell them, I usually get her when all the combs just about taken out. So you can see we have this section. We have this little section. She was behind this little section. But what I did was I left this section here. Okay, it's got brood. And um, I cut and removed all the comb up here and worked my way down so that if she was behind here, she'd run up or run down and I'd get her. And if I didn't get her once that piece was removed, I was going to walk away, give them some time and let them come out and, and I might see her running down to hide behind this comb piece. But uh, as it worked out, she was behind that little one. And there she is. She's not a real big queen. But uh, that's our queen. And I'm going to go ahead and secure her now in the box. Hee <laughs> hee.
you're still robbing that honey out. We got a little cluster up there, but it's all right. Got our clue. Well, I just shook them, all three boxes, and they're fanning. Oh, that's that lemongrass smell is so wonderful. You can see them fanning their little butts off. This hive had a lot of bees, decent bit of comb. They've been here a while, you know. Mm -hmm. I got people stopping by saying mm -hmm. they know they've been here for two or three years. One person even thought that they'd been here since Katrina, but uh, I don't know about that. But I really don't know, but I know. It had some age to it because the combs were pretty dark. So, uh, oh, I wish I could bottle this smell up right now and send it to you guys and gals out there. It, you know, it's wonderful. Next swarm you shake, just get up close to it when they fan and then smell that wonderful aroma. So, you know, now they're my friend, right? <laughs> Before they, I was the bad guy. Another video from JP the B Man. Y'all have a good one. Cause I sure did. Thank <laughs> you.